the diagnostic space has seen its best days behind it that it will not it will grow but the growth will be much lower than what we are used to seeing over the last five or six years do you agree with that uh, basic premise or do you think the market's got it wrong <laughs> i think it's somewhere in between um, look i think as incumbents in the industry it would be foolish for us to say nothing has happened nothing has changed and everything is the same way it is i don't think it is but at the same time the other extreme which is that oh now it's going to be really difficult for incumbents and leaders to grow uh, because new players have come in i think is also uh, the other extreme of the pendulum and really the truth i think lies somewhere in between i think the challenge honestly for most investors analysts uh, people in the industry or outside the industry is actually that they don't really fully fathom the nuances uh, of the industry uh, completely so you know till pre covid uh the entire business of diagnostics was actually illness based and when i say illness based that means a patient gets sick they go to the doctor the doctor says suggests a particular patch lab either for routine tests or for advanced tests um and then that patient accordingly goes to that patch lab that's what we define as the illness business and that business actually is very dependent on the doctor's recommendation and the doctor's main influence um and really for for uh, the industry that has been really in a lot of ways the gatekeeper uh, now people have their own varieties of opinions on whether this is good or bad but the reality is when you're burning with 103 fever or you think your mother has cancer or you think your father can't walk because he's had a stroke you are dependent on the doctor to help you and guide you to make the right decisions because the information is so is it asymmetrical it's impossible for you to understand and what's happened is during covid is two things there has been some adoption of technology in healthcare which never was there before and consumers have become a little bit more aware of their health uh, for making their own decisions for when they are well and they are actually perfectly fine not when they are sick and this has created a completely new category uh, in healthcare which is on the wellness side so all the players that actually you're referring to are on the wellness side and have actually come in by saying we don't want to talk to the doctor the doctor is irrelevant and we want to directly go to the consumer and sell them wellness services uh you know for when they are perfectly fine and they are pitching convenience and service and price as sort of the main uh, reasons why consumers should go to them uh, with the hope that at some day even though that makes losses that some of those consumers will start trusting them for the illness side and i think that's the entire premise uh, of their platform uh, i think uh, it's going to be a mixed bag uh, for many of them Uh, and we'll have to really wait and watch us to see how this industry develops. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.